So in this video, we are going to see how we can add a table onto the object page. So this is what our current application status is. We are showing a tabular format. We have set admitted button, create delete button. And when you click on this, you see an object page here. So what we are going to do is we will be showing a tabular format here with the academic result information for the student for the selected student okay so for that we need couple of things and uh, to save some time i have already created these objects and uh, these are not the new object we have seen how to create this object in our previous videos so what i have done is very first thing for displaying the academic result i have created a new table here which is zcim rap academic result 5000 and uh, i have set the foreign key relationship with uh, our uh, main table which is this table okay so i have id field and then foreign key relationship with this table based on the client and the id where id is a key field in this table as well and our main table as well and then i have another key field which is course and a semester okay and then the semester result whether the student pass fail or it is currently ongoing okay so for making this table so this table is created now but if you see here we have created some data element as well okay so what we have done is we have created some domains for course semester and semester result here so let's see quickly what these are showing so course will show either computers or electronics and uh, then semester will show in which semester or which semester result it is okay and then the third one is the semester result so pass fail and the current one okay so these three domains are created and then for passing the values into the table we need data element so for that we have created the data element as well so these are the three data element for course for course and uh, for semester this one and then semester result this one okay so this is what we have used here so this much we have created the table data element and the domain now what we need to do is since we also need to get these values so for that we have created the data definition or entity views for course so for course we are reading from this domain and for semester we are reading from this domain and for semester result we are reading from this domain okay so these all of these things we have seen already in our previous videos so now let's start how to build the table onto the object page so let's close everything so very first thing what we are going to do is we will create an entity view for the academic table which is the new table we have created so this one okay so go here create a new data definition and then let's give some name with specific to our table name so we will give zi underscore and uh, then academic result underscore 5000 okay interface view for academic result click on next click on next and uh, define view entity here 
and finish so this is the template which we have got and uh, let's give the table name our table name is zcim underscore rap underscore ar 5000 okay and get all of the fields so we have id course semester and semester result okay so now what we need to do is we okay let's activate this so this got activated now what we need to do is we need to add an association with our header fields why because we need the student id connection with this table okay so what we are going to do is we will be adding an association to our root table here or the root uh, entity view which is nothing but vi student 5000 this one so what we are going to do is outside of the bracket so association to parent okay Le I, I will explain what we are reading what we are writing here so parent is this as underscore stud ent student and uh, on dollar projection dot id is equal to underscore student dot id dot id okay so and now let's add the association public here so now we have added an association to the header table or header entity view here now let's activate and this got activated now since we have added an association to the parent we also need to add an association with the child here okay so likewise we have added a header for example here so we will be adding association to this in the main header details as well okay so now go to your uh, academic result and uh, association to parent is done now go to your parent and add a new association here okay so association to academic result as underscore academic on academic result on dollar projection dot so we no need to add a projection here we will just add an association okay so now okay what error it is giving unexpected keyword on okay so since we have added association to parent in the child now what we need to do is we need to rather than adding the association we need to add a consumption here consumption and with cardinality zero or star okay and what consumption of this entity 
okay and then we will add this as a public here okay so this is what uh, we need to do now let's see what is this thing and let's activate first so now let's see what this consumption means and what this two parent relationship is okay so let's see what first the consumption is so the consumption is basically when you create a root entity and when you create a child entity okay and that relationship is done using the two parent okay so for example we have defined this view entity as a child entity now we need to show somehow how this child entity or how this entity t is connected to your parent entity okay so this is how the association to parent is defined it means this entity is associated with this parent okay so this is what the two parent keyword is uh, doing here now what is consumption so consumption means when you define a consumption and when you define an association okay so association is normal connection between two entities or if you want to get the detail from the another entity right but the consumption composition is when one entity is totally dependent on the another entity for example uh, let's see our current example a student so student and academic result so academic result entity is fully dependent on the student entity if the student entity is not there then academic entity will also be not there or we can say student result will not be there if the student is not there right so and another example we can say for example sales order so sales order has different items available then only a sales order will be created right so if sales order is not there then items will also not be there correct so if this kind of relationship we need to maintain then we defined a composition here so what this composition is saying this relationship can have zero value or multiple value okay so a result cannot be there without the student but student can be there without a result right so this is what the composition means so it basically what composition does is it defines in the parent entity okay so this is what our parent entity is in the parent entity we define the composition and if we define a composition for a specific entity then we also need to define two parent relationship with the specific parent entity here this is mandatory if you do not if you define two parent and do not define a consumption it will give an error and vice versa okay and when you do this both the things to parent and the composition then it is called composition tree or cds composition tree this is the definition so we can say that the composition and the two parent relationship or two parent association together makes the cds composition tree for a business object so this scenario is creating cds composition tree for our student business object now since we have added the association for the student in uh, academic result table let's add an association for our course semester and semester result as well here equal to underscore semester result dot value so now add all of these what are the fields we need from here is the course we will need course so 
underscore underscore course dot description as course description one is done then semester okay now semester so put here dot description as there is a typo semester description as semester description and finally we need semester result so let's take control v dot description as semester underscore description semester m e s s e m r e s result stop result okay and uh, that's it so now activate and got activated uh, right click open with data preview so these are the fields which we will be showing into the table okay so that's all for now in this video and uh, in the next video we will be using all of these objects which we have created to show a table onto the object page and uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you